case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1991 case of Jacques vs. Commissioner, the United States Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit addressed the issue of whether withdrawals from a corporation by its owner could be considered loans or dividends for tax purposes. The case involved Leonard C. Jacques, a lawyer who established his legal practice as a professional corporation and withdrew money from it to pay for personal expenses without executing proper loan documentation or setting repayment dates. The court determined that Jacques' withdrawals were taxable dividends due to the absence of evidence of intent to repay and lack of interest on the withdrawn money. This led to income tax deficiencies of $24,255, $120,384, and $301,970 for the taxable years 1983, 1984, and 1985, respectively. The decision was upheld on appeal, as the court found that the lawyer failed to provide objective evidence of intent to repay and did not follow proper corporate formalities in handling the withdrawals. The case highlights the importance of documentation and corporate procedures when dealing with financial transactions, particularly when they may have tax implications. The court's ruling underscores that withdrawals by a controlling stockholder can only be considered loans for tax purposes if appropriate evidence and formalities are in place. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.